Yeah. Hi, this is Slime Dog and Topo, and today we're playing Volume on the PS4. Uh, Volume's a really cool little stealth game uh, that came out a, a, a while back. Uh, it's got VR support and all sorts of fun stuff. But um, let's uh, take a look. Basically, it's got a uh, hundred built-in, like kind of pre-designed levels. It's got a level editor, so you can make your own, and you can play other people's levels online. So, uh, let's see, to start off with, just sort of get a feel for it, let's go ahead and try... Uh, what was the one we were looking at? Ah, this one. Cost of Life. This is just a sort of general tutorial of the, the uh, game itself. See, now, the deal is you sneak around, you're actually very quiet, and um, so you can go right up behind them, and uh, as long as you, you have to avoid the vision cones. Right. It's very much like the Metal Gear Solid VR missions, if you ever played that back on the PS1. But as long as you're, you can flatten against walls so they can't see you if they look over. The, these walls are sort of half height, so you have to be kind of pushed against them or else they, they see you. And, and you, uh, can you can also sneak through the cones even there. Well, no, it's once a... you get to the end, I think they'd see if you tried to no, pop if out you're, there. Well, yeah, but you can't walk in the cone, but you can hug walls in the cone. But what you, you can also make noise to draw their attention. So like if I hit the uh, X, uh, the square button there, he makes a little whistle and it attracts their attention. They walk around to you and I can sneak past them when they do that. So uh, like here, I'm going to go ahead and make another noise. This guy's going to come around the wall looking for me and I'm just going to sneak around the other way because I'm a sneaky, sneaky guy. Now you have to pick up these little gems mm -hmm. to, um, you have to pick up all the, all the little gems to um, escape the level. Yeah, it unlocks uh, it the opens, exit. It op yep. opens the exit. And uh, there's, uh, they have little text box. boxes. If you like the uh, the story, it's got That's a really a fun story too. That's a little checkpoint save there. Yeah, all these little all these little guys are checkpoints. If you walk through there, then you uh, don't have to worry about if you get killed. Um, Here's a little a locker. A locker. You can duck in here again. Metal Gear Solid, and pop out when he goes by and go sneaking past him. Now, um, the fun. One of the fun parts about this, this I think, is it's basically an uh, AI of Robin Hood sort of. Oh yeah. Story. The whole story is very much like themed up like a futuristic Robin Hood. So uh, the guy's main guy's name is Loxley, and the bad guy's Gisborne, and it's it's yeah they really have a good time Watch with out that. For their cones here. Uh, you Their also cones have... come through the wall, so they can actually... Well, they come over the half-height well, wall, ha yeah, but, but not the be... double. It's not super obvious there that there's a cone. Um, and I just picked up a gizmo there. It's called the bugle, and it's something you can throw, and then you can tap the button again to kind of detonate it at, at any point. And, it, and all it does is there... make noise, so it'll distract the guards for me. Aim it into that frame, that picture frame on the wall. I'm working on it. It's not, it's getting a lot well, I know, but you had it. it and... That's good. Oh. Scooch down here. Oh! Uh huh. They do bounce for a while. They I thought do. I thought it had gone off the edge. They will go off the edge too. And while they all parade down here, I can just snipe, slip right by them. Um, it's got a fun story. It's actually I'm enjoying the story as you go through the uh, uh, through the little text files. But it is just mostly told through text and and uh, uh, and voice acting. Again. So, um, it's. Oh, there you go. Uh, it, but it's this uh, cool little kind of sci-fi thing, and it goes well with the kind of the minimalist vibe that they've got going on. The whole kind of simulated, you know, uh, VR world that you're supposed to be in. Um, yeah, it's fun. Got sort of an anti-establishment vibe that goes nicely with the whole Robin Hood theme. Yeah, it's... I love... Must have been the wind. Really? Yeah. Really? You're in an... Okay. Well, you know. You said that the <laughs> simulated guard people are smart. Uh, and there we go. I snuck out in... Not par. Par for this is 165, but the chatting takes time. Yes. Um, so that's, that's sort various, of a... But they're all pretty pretty short. Oh yeah, they are. And they don't get crazy hard either, so at least maybe, well, maybe so they far, do we towards the end. Yeah, we're, we have, we're only about halfway through the game. Uh, yeah, about a quarter, yeah. So, uh, But it's it's they're really fun. Uh, one that we found that was like pretty interesting and, and um... Uh, unlike the other sneaky ones, was this one they basically made sort of a Pac-Man game out of the sneaking. So it's actually really fun. You've got the high walls, and you, you still have to pick up all the diamonds to get out of here. So you have to sneak around and avoid everybody. But 
See? Waka waka. <laughs> That's Pac-Man, not Fozzy Bear. Just clearing that up. Yeah. And so oh. you can fly against the wall here. You can be as stealthy as you want. I get, I get so caught up in these things. This is one of the little... This one doesn't catch me. Phew. I'm sorry, I'm not talking. I'm getting distracted by the watching it. Well, it's very distracting anyway, but it's actually really cute. It's, uh... Oh, no! Stay hidden, stay hidden. Oh, no. Run, run, run. Ha, ha. Still need those two little dots. I'm gonna have to go back for those. There you go. Ha. And see, you if you can avoid them, if you get seen for a couple of seconds, maybe three seconds, you're done. They, they kill you. But if you can evade them, you can uh, sneak out, sneak past them. Uh, and, and even if you get sp like sighted, Spotted. the game you isn't over. Them. Yeah, yeah, you can lose them if you can hide. The game proper has a few different, maybe like five different types of enemies to avoid. And it's got uh, probably a, a likewise number of gadgets that you can use. Yeah, they've got, like, you can flush a toilet. So mm -hmm. there's a urinal on the wall that you can flush to... Have them come around and distract find them. You. It's it's like your little self clap thing, only a little bit louder. So, um, very, and there's various fun little distract distracting tools. Yes. Tidy spots of like the lockers and uh, just behind walls. But a fun part also, aside from just the game proper, is the uh, the level editor, which we use to make. Well, here let's uh, show off the edit simulation, and we can uh, let's load this map that we made earlier, and it took us maybe about five minutes to make this map, not long at all. Uh, it's got, uh, because the, the design itself is so minimalist, it's, it, it lends itself well towards sort of a, a really cool, like this, this level editing suite of, of, you know, basic features. And it's fun, you can design however you want, yep. and you can load, upload it to the interwebs, and people can play it, yep. and you can go play other people's stuff, but... And it makes it really this, easy, like, you know, to add, um, uh, well, here, you want me to play it? Yeah, it's, okay. your car was 40, pick up your bugle. See, you can deactivate this force field pick and pick up the bugle. bugle. There's... He also filled it with a bunch of half walls to make it more challenging. Yes, so. because I am just hardcore like that. What's out there? Wait, how did he walk through? Uh, I think I've made a glitch level. That's awesome. Uh, poor design, I think. I'd say blame the designer. Yeah, I'm sure wait I'm somehow responsible wait, wait for that. Wait till he comes back. Oh, now he's there. He's stuck. Ah. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Okay, well, that's entertaining. I, I would love to say this is glitchy. I'm sure this is somehow my fault, actually, so uh, don't blame the designer. Uh, I'm sure... You mean, you mean the, the actual game designer, not, yeah. not you? Oh, look. Oh, look. Now you can just... Oh, quick, run! You've got the room! You've got it safe! Quick! Stop sneaking and just run out of there. Uh, 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 oh my gosh, this is so weird. Be sneakier! So Alan is the AI that... that You are Rob of Bloxley, and Alan is the AI that's running these little sims for you. As in Alan of Dale. And it is... Wow! He just goes right to those walls. That is crazy. Okay, oh, you know well, what? I don't know. Let's, uh, if I back out of here, I think maybe it's, uh, I'm, I'm curious if it's doing it because I'm, I'm doing it in, uh, the editor mode. Oh, yeah, that might be it. Like, if I do, if I play it here in, from, like, play, the locally play. saved there one. There you go. Because okay. he wasn't, the, the guard wasn't doing that earlier, so no. I think it must be me somehow. I'm sure I messed it up. Don't forget your people. This is what I get for putting half-height walls everywhere. Again, challenging, but huh, challenging. Is there someone out there? Yeah, that's, see, there you go. That's what's supposed to work. And now I can actually wait for him to come back. And there's a little bit of a gap here, da, 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 and I can just doop, sneak around that corner. Now you can just walk around. Ta-da! See, that's how it's supposed to work. And I think it, if it was all flu it was probably because I was in edit mode oh, in and edit I hit mode. a button or something. Makes so sense. he doesn't have to obey walls. See, ta-da! There's the little exit. So that. 
this is just a little sample we set up for mm-hmm. you to Ooh, I beat, beat your my own personal best. best. <laughs> Yay. The par that you set. Mm-hmm. So I suppose you, you could set a par really high if it took a really long time. <laughs> yes, and, and we even uploaded this. So if you want this really crappy level, you could totally go <laughs> online and find the Let's Play level by Slime Dog 13 and play it yourself. Although, if you are planning on going online to check these things out, there are some much, much better levels made by a lot of really clever people out there. Um, we played a, a couple of them, and, and they're pretty cool. They, they, they do some really fun stuff. There's some, yeah. a lot of creativity there. So I'm sure there are tons of them. We have, mm-hmm. We've only just dipped our toe into it. but And they, they also have a sort of a curated set from the, 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 uh, the staff likes from user-generated content, too. So. Oh, the yellow brick road. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you can mm-hmm. go through Castle Crash. <laughs> Castle Crashers. Who Dude, doesn't love Castle Crashers? That's awesome. Um, Mirror's Edge. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of fun ones here. There really is. So between the hundred levels that are built in and the, all the cool online stuff there, there's Which, enough okay. for you to play for a very, very long time. Oh, and you can rate the levels too, by the way. So if you... Uh, oh my god, that's so cool. And I would like to say that the... We played this one. I'm going to rate this. Actually, <laughs> this guy. It was a fun one. Wait, no. I, I want to rate it higher than that. I adjust it. Uh, 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 I can't make it work. I'm sorry, guy. I tried to bump X, your. Uh, so. Anyway. They um the designers actually hope that you will come in and have fun with it. They yes. very much say come in and play and have a good time. And I like the little base story that they've got going on. It's super fun. Mm-hmm. There's little memos that you can read from that are, you know, notes on the ground. Yep. You can take time to read, and you can certainly go through and play the levels as many times as you want to. You can design levels. You can play other people's levels. The music, it's, graphic styling is very appropriate. Yeah, it's really um, awesome. It yeah. feels very VR, very... And again, if you liked Metal Gear Solid VR missions on PS1, and there really is not been a whole lot like that since... Speaking of, this it's, does also have VR options. It which does. we did try on. It does and have... actually, you can both do it the same. It's the same on screen as on the VR. The neat thing about the VR is it's just sort of like you, it, you're engrossed in it, but you're not like it doesn't change your view at all. It's a little bit more. It basically, it's like playing the game on a regular TV, except for you're doing it in VR. The, the upside is that it does add to the whole immersive VR feeling right. that like they're trying your... to evoke in the story itself. Right, right. So you feel like you are the AI walking through the. And he ran it while I wore the VR for a little bit, and that was pretty cool because I could really see it super clear and crisp yeah. in my face that way. So it's not like if you're worried about being some sort of nausea-inducing first-person view or something like that. <laughs> no, it's it's actually just the game itself in VR. So yeah. it's a nice little add-on for people who happen to have the goggles, but don't think that you're going to get less of a game if you don't happen to have the VR gear. Right, no, and don't think that it's like... a game breaker if you don't have it they're like oh my gosh this game would be so much better in vr it's fun in vr it's and it's nice that they added that i'm super happy they added it because mm-hmm. it is neat yeah but it's not it's not integral so overall to enjoyment this one's a really fun game i yes. i recommend it and there's yes. not a whole lot of stealth games out there especially not ones that get tds it's it's fast enough that like stealth levels are sort of a a bane for for like level design in general everyone's like oh god here comes the stealth segment but in this game because they keep it so nice and bite-sized and tight right it doesn't feel like tedious or bad at all it's actually a really clever quick like energetic take on the whole genre yeah if you only have a couple minutes in a day to you know you can pop in run a couple levels have some fun Mm -hmm. have fun with it try and beat your personal best you know, any beat part absolutely lots of checkpoints so not a lot of backtracking really just very smart design overall. And I do like that they're little bite-sized levels. Yeah. That does help. Yeah, actually. Because it, there may be hundred, but they're, they're, it won't take you long to whip through them. Yeah. Leave you room to explore. Absolutely. Other stuff, too. Yep. Yeah. So, if you're feeling sneaky, give it a shot. Oh, do. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.